Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of uh, using Firebase Firestore database solution with Unity 3D for your game development work or for app development well. Uh, in last video I forgot to mention and like uh, show one very important step which was to how to actually set up your Firestore project, add it to Unity and all. So before going ahead with working with actual data and code and uh, stuff, let's just go ahead. So just go to firebase.google.com, uh, log in with your Google account and create a new project. Like uh, you should know how to do this, uh, create a new project and all. And if you do not, I will just leave a link to the introduction video on how to set up file store with unity and yeah it's quite like it's very easy to do this what you need to do is basically uh, in firebase create your project so my project is set uh, range and in your project go to project settings add app like for using unity uh, for using firebase and file store in general or any firebase solutions in unity you need to set up your Android and iOS apps and don't worry if you are creating your game for desktop Firebase provide like handles desktop automatically and you do not need to uh, add actual details of your app even if it's not published I just use dummy uh, data here so just provide a nickname for your app your package name like this cannot be changed I think so uh, use whatever you are planning to use as a package name in your Android and iOS App Store releases and once you have added them just download your google service.info.plist google services json so this is for Android this is for iOS you need both these files Firebase will automatically generate a file for desktop and Another thing you need with these two files is the SDK for well Firebase SDK for Unity and very unfortunately they have not really provided its link to be as easily foundable let me search Firebase Unity SDK download Yep, I will leave this link in the uh, video description and my blog post for this video. So, we do not need the samples, just by the way, even though they uh, provide this thing about using Unity Package Manager, this did not work with me and do not try this, just manually download the uh, firebase unity sdk dot zip file uh, whoops i already have this downloaded so uh, this file is of around a gb so just download it and oh, my mouse is fucking around with me it's like same old dog shit problem of logitech mouse and keyboard double clicking here and there anyways uh, once you have uh, downloaded the uh, firebase sdk just set up your unity project create your unity project 2d 3d doesn't matter and import the uh, uh, unity package files from the sdk folder you have downloaded uh, basically what you need is like if you uh, the firebase sdk includes unity packages for all their products for authentication file store real time storage etc and what we need is just the package for file store and firebase app well yeah just import it and once you import it drag and drop your google services and the other file 
info file that you downloaded from your settings page into your assets folder these two files should be at the root level of your assets folder not in any of these or any of your subfolders and the first time you build your scene or play your plane editor it will automatically create this file for handling desktop apps and games so now we can use firestore and any of the firebase products in ios android or desktop i have not tried mac or linux but i think it will work we will know later and that's it for adding firebase to your project there is nothing else uh, just after that uh, basically you have added you have created a firebase project you have created your unity project imported the sdk added those info files then just go to cloud firestore from your firebase dashboard and i've already created a firestore database but i think you will get some option to accept some terms and conditions create your first project etc just follow along click on next or just whatever you get and it will bring you goddamn logitech it will bring you to this screen and i think these all fields will be empty uh, because you don't have any data uh, like me your project name will be written here and before moving ahead and ending this video uh, for anyone that's coming from real time for relational database management systems basically mongodb mysql nosql any sql database systems just remember collections are your tables users are your rows and well these rows contain the columns and the thing about firestore is that your data does not need to be structurally same so what it means is like if you create a database in sql or mysql you will like for example if i'm creating users table and for that table i will have to create all these columns and uh, at the initial stage and then whenever i add sorry all these yeah all these columns at the initial stage by the way i confused between rows and columns earlier so apologies for that and whenever you add data to new data basically new user you will either need to fill these columns with some data or keep them empty or keep them null but the thing is all these columns will exist for all the users in mysql but in firestore you like your your columns or should i say your sorry your rows or should i say your documents do not need to have same structures across each other basically if you see this this is a user and you can see there are a lot of fields most of them are empty and then there is this user which have only three fields which are filled and like this does not have any other fields which were empty in this user and this has completely different structure so all of these three are users and all of these three have different data structures and firebase supports that and the thing is even if it supports that as a feature like they promote it as a feature i find it's a liability and basically these two data structures are actually invalid data i added on purpose for testing uh, this thing and the problem here is that so suppose you're making a game you have uh, thought what all fields your user your users need to have even if they are empty so if my if a user is playing my game from steam he will have steam id if he's playing from android he will have google token if he's playing from apple devices he will have his apple id rest of all these things can be null empty i don't care like they don't really matter these three, three uh, things are important but now the thing is if we follow firebase example and if we like do not store like or do not create these uh, fields even if empty what we will have is something like this a user which only have fields with actual data and none of the empty fields 
and now the problem that occurs is if you're creating any kind of conditional code in your game and like suppose you have created a check to see if a user has logged in using Facebook if he has Facebook token if he has team ID or even if uh, even when he last logged in so like this example this field doesn't have last log field and now the problem that will happen is so like logically speaking if you're checking for last log a field that is not like that is not created or exists in this record logically speaking firebase sdk or your code should just throw you a null error and what you can generally do is like wrap it in a null check just like if last log is null or not to check that field exists and you can call it a day and in that case this data structure would have worked because you can just check if uh, if those fields uh, have data or not if they are null or not if they exist or not but the problem in firebase sdk is if the field does not exist here if last log or facebook token does not exist here blank or not if they do not if they are not created in this record and you try to access them you try to check if they are null or not your code is gonna behave weirdly like it's not gonna crash it's not gonna throw an exception it's just gonna completely ignore that part of the code so I will show you an example like uh, just ignore all the other code and take it as a general example so let's go yeah okay so here i am and i am fetching a user so let's see let's say i'm fetching this one two three user here i will pass user id one two three in this method i will build a query and i will say in users table well collection get me the user or all the users whose user id is one two three which would normally be only one user and so if if i found a user if i found a user i will like so this is the result and what i'm saying is in result access the documents which is basically access the results and if the number of results is less than one or zero you can say then that means no user is found otherwise i found a user so this is the list of results and i will access the first result because i know uh, my data structure is foolproof and there will only be one unique user id so i can just access the first result because there will only be one result now the problem is if this user id field does not exist in your like if this was last log here and if you try to access it or if you tried like in your in your user data so like i'm access i'm accessing username here right uh, this is the data of a single user i'm accessing his username if i was accessing say last log or anything here or suppose here generally speaking it should either be blank or null or even throw an exception i don't really care just throw an exception so i will know that something is wrong in my uh, the uh, logic of the code but it will not do it it will simply behave as if it did not execute this code and you cannot believe it i spent two days banging my head uh, in all these methods and code i was writing because uh, there would be instances where some parts of my code will not execute so like this debug log will not execute this part will not execute when it was faulty well and it was happening because if a field or a data or a record or whatever you are trying to access, uh, access does not exist firebase will simply stop your code here uh, there without returning anything without throwing any exception without crashing it your code will just stop and that's really that's really pro uh, problematic so like generally speaking when you're getting a user you will be showing some kind of progress bar here when you start your fetching progress because 
uh, Firebase uses asynchronous tasks, so it will fetch, uh, it will make all its data calls, whether adding or getting data in background. And so when that happens, you cannot really uh, like return anything or anything here. Like you cannot do bool or return data because all the data uh, tasks are run in background. So generally speaking, you will you will uh, show some kind of progress bar or text here that yeah we are loading the data and once the data is loaded you will disable that progress bar or task and just use your data but suppose you show your progress bar here and this thing doesn't exist this code will not execute firebase will not throw any error crash or anything and basically now you are stuck with your progress bar loading forever without knowing what's wrong without knowing that yeah the code faulted or anything and well i went into much detail and much longer description of explaining it but what i'm trying to say at the end of it is that when you are uh, planning your database structure for your tables and data plan it well and use it uniformly for all your data you do not do not do it how firebase says that you can create your data with non-uniform structure where fields do not need to be same structure do not need to be same please keep your structure same across all your data across all your users or matches or whatever data because like otherwise you will run into problems when you are like really getting into complex queries and data and you will have a hard time figuring out what's going wrong where it's going wrong why it's going wrong and that's also the reason that instead of like where is it instead of following their example of like creating dictionary and writing my data structure again and again manually in dictionary i created custom structures like i used c, uh, c sharp structs to like create maps of my tables so i know what all what all entries i need to make and even if i'm not entering any data into these entries my code will still create the fields even if they are empty so like it will still create it, uh, these fields with null values even if i'm not entering anything into it so like this was the example when i was using the code firebase like firestore example way with without like creating those empty fields and this is problematic and this is the proper way of doing it so just create empty fields of your data and plan it basically plan your data structure well and we will see all this in details when we start with the next video and topic which is actually adding data using firebase in unity for your game